In November last year, after a highly publicised legal battle, Britney Spears was freed from a brutal 13-year-long conservatorship that put her father in charge of her finances, her health care and her personal decisions, effectively her entire life. Well, since then, she celebrated her freedom by posting pictures to her 41 million followers on Instagram. Naked pictures. In the last week alone, she's posted a series of them. Concerned fans have flocked to social media, as they always love to do. Is Britney OK? Is she having another mental breakdown? Well, I don't think she is. I wrote a column for The Sun this week saying, actually, I think she's expressing the freedom she didn't have for all those years of that conservatorship, which became incredibly draconian. But to discuss all this, I'm joined by music management legend Louis Walsh, his words, not mine, who actually walked with Britney as a judge on X Factor USA in 2012, and Fox Nation host Tommy Lahren, who's an unashamed Britney fan. Well, let's start with you, Tommy. Um, you know, I looked at these pictures. I've got to say, my first reaction was to be a bit concerned. It's like, what's she doing? Because she's got a history of erratic behaviour. But actually, when I read the captions and I saw what she was sort of saying about it, I genuinely felt this is a woman who feels liberated. And she always talked about the time of the conservatorship as being like being in prison. What do you think? I'm free Britney all the way. She's living her life. She's loving her life. And you know what, Piers? What celebrity doesn't post nude photos or suggestive photos? I mean, scroll through and pick a name, any name. Pick a Kardashian, any Kardashian. I don't. They're all posting this kind of stuff. Is... <laughs> Is it a little bizarre? Sure, it's a little bizarre, but with all the craziness that goes on in Hollywood and in the media with public figures, let Britney be Britney. She's not hurting anybody. She's enjoying her freedom. And let her freak flag fly if she so chooses. It's all up to her. Thank goodness she is finally free. Yeah, I kind of feel that. Louis, you've got a history with Britney because you did judge X Factor well, USA with her, and it was a bit of a nightmare, wasn't it? She, she did one show, I think, and over two days was sort of c completely out of it, a bit of a diva about everything, and you were worried and maybe... She thought... wasn't in... Yeah. Tell me about it. She wasn't in a good place. She wasn't in a good place. But, you know, I'm a fan as well, Piers, and she's a complete survivor. She's 40 years old. She can do whatever she wants. Madonna's taking her, all her clothes off all the time. Why can't Britney do it, you know? And I just think she's enjoying her life, you know, and she's free. But I'd like her to make a record. I'd like her to have a hit song, get back in the studio with Mix Martin or somebody. Yeah, because I, I, remember you know, watching a, I remember watching her perform on the X Factor UK uh, two or three years before you judged it, I think 2008, eight, nine, something like that. And it was a really shocking yeah, yeah. performance. And she was only about 27. I thought this is the beginning of the end. You know, it's really all over for yeah, her. Yeah, I remember. But, but when I look I at remember, her now... We tried to yeah, what I look at it now, though, Louis, I think, yeah, I think, you know, one great song, and it could be one of the all-time great comebacks, right? Totally. Max Martin, Britney, you get a hit. Absolutely. And she is a great pop star. She's a household name. She's got really loyal fans, you know, and she can do what she wants. So who's taking the pictures, by the way? It's not her. So it must be her guy. <laughs> well, I mean, she's been with this guy, Tommy, for five years. She's pregnant, expecting a, another no. baby. Um, let me just ask you, though, Tommy, yeah. even as a sort of super fan, uh, does any part of any of this worry you a little bit in the sense that when someone does get liberated after so long under someone's control, like her father, you know, it can, it can go wrong. Are you worried it might, or do you trust the process here? I think that, you know, obviously the posts are a little weird. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a Britney fan. I look at them and, you know, I cringe from time to time. But like I said, what celebrity isn't posting weird stuff? What celebrity isn't erratic? We've got so many other celebrities and, and pop stars and figures changing their gender from one day to the next. Let Britney do what she wants to do. She was miserable under that conservatorship. She said she was miserable. She was acute enough to understand she was miserable in that conservatorship. So you know what? If she's happy now, that's all that matters. Of course, we hope that the family and friends that she's still close to. We hope that they're watching over her and we want the best for Britney, but I think she's going to make a huge comeback. I think she's going to be stronger than ever and she's going to do it on her terms. I just realised, yeah, she'd look a bit like Britney. Yeah. Hey, I take that as a major compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I intended it as a compliment. Uh, Louis, I've got to ask you before I let you go. Simon Cowell is, okay. is on the verge of a truly historic moment where it looks like he may, actually get, he may actually get married. Do you believe it's going to happen? What, yeah. What's your thought about this? I don't know. Piers, you know him as much as I do, you know? He loves himself more than anybody else, you know? <laughs> so Lauren is hanging in a long time. Maybe he should get married. I don't know. He told me he never would. 
So I don't know. He's engaged. Lauren deserves it. She's hung around a long time. She deserves it. She, <laughs> she she's deserves a lovely lady, way. actually, and Lauren. She's a lovely lady. I think, is. I've got a feeling he is actually going to finally crumble. Do you think so? I think so, yeah. I Do think you think so. he get married? Um, are you going to go? I don't know. I mean, he's, he's so tight, isn't he? Would you invite anyone to come and drink yeah. at his expense? We'd have to see. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to go. We'll have to go, even if we're not invited. We should actually be best men, me and you. After all we've done for totally. him the last 30 years, we should all, or we could be wedding we've crashes. To, you know? We could be wedding crashes if he's too mean to invite us. Uh, Tommy, I want to take you back before we let you go, Tommy. Uh, you talked about every celebrity who has naked pictures on social media. I don't know if you were familiar with my own work in this genre. So here's my famous Burger King commercial. Um, oh! Which was me in a, in a Burt Reynolds loincloth by a roaring hearth fire. And if you believe that's my real body, you're living in cloud cuckoo land. But anyway, but you're right, Tommy, we've all done it. Uh, Got to leave it there. Great debate. I'm glad to see Brittany back. I think she's uh, one of so the all-time great pop stars. Take care, both of you, Tommy I and agree. Louis. Appreciate it.